Hi. In this video, we'll look at how you can use Burp to manipulate WebSocket messages. Finding vulnerabilities in WebSockets generally involves manipulating messages in ways that the application doesn't expect. For example, if you can modify existing messages or create new ones, you may be able to deliver SQL injection or cross-site scripting exploits. We can use Burp Repeater to modify and resend WebSocket messages. If you'd like to follow along with the steps, you can use the Manipulating WebSocket Messages to Exploit Vulnerabilities lab from our Web Security Academy. Once the lab has launched and you've browsed around the target application to map the attack surface, go to Burp's Proxy WebSockets History tab. This tab displays a table of any WebSocket messages that Burp's browser has exchanged with the target host. And here we can see the messages from the live chat in the lab. Right-click a message that you want to resend or modify, for example, one of the outbound chat messages, and click Send to Repeater. Burp will create a new WebSocket tab in Repeater. Go to the Repeater tab and click Send in the new tab. You can check the History panel to confirm the message was resent. In the Send WebSocket message panel, you can now modify the message. For example, you could send a proof of concept XSS attack at this point. Click Send again. When you check the history panel, you can confirm the modified message appears as sent.